do a review today on personal eyewear. I have to say these are my normal day-to-day -day glasses. I've been wearing glasses for about 19 years and I have seen to come more and more in love with personal. They were founded in 1917 and in my knowledge they are still handmade in Italy. Say right here it says handmade in Italy. I really enjoy the color of it. It's called Madre Terra. I don't know if there's a difference between Italian and Spanish but it's Terra and our mother de terra let's say you'd say in spanish but it has this oval shape here very very classic i love these glasses very much and the distinguishing feature about them is they're very comfortable and they kind of bend so some glasses right here is a lot of pressure these not so much they kind of just bend with your face even if it's a little bit too small your head it will comfortably fit it and it's not going to give you any any migraines or anything uh, one way you know personals by other brands is looking right here. It'll have this right here. Whereas everyone else wears Ray-Bans. My preference is personals. These are my normal day-to-day -day glasses. Okay. This is my other pair of glasses that I have from them. These are sunglasses. These are both prescription. I have, once again, the Miser Terra here as far as the color. It's 5420. That's the size. And as you can see here, it has the green lenses, as I mentioned before. It's handmade in Italy. It's perfect. Now... There is a slight discrepancy between these two that I really wear a lot. I love these, but these are a little more tighter on my head than the other ones. But I prefer that with sunglasses because a lot of the times I have the convertible down in my car or if I'm walking outside or whatever, I just prefer to have a tighter sunglasses than I do regular glasses. That's my own personal preference. Yeah, I, if that bothers you, then I recommend going with a different style. But that's my personal preference. And I do have another pair of sunglasses from Personal. Now, these are the folding ones here. As you can see here, it's in a different color. I've had these for, I don't know, three or four years now. And I love these as well. They fold up, as you can see here. They fold up. Nice little small package. Now, I have both of these, okay? And what I would recommend, if you're a natural born glasses wearer like myself, you had that deficiency, I would strongly recommend that you just go with normal frames like this. Because you'll get a carrying case like this or like this, okay? You take these glasses off, put them inside the carrying case, take these on and put them on, okay? There's a small carrying case that comes with this, okay? And as you can see, this folds up here, as you can see here. And that's all cool and all, but these glasses, the normal ones that you wear every day, don't fold up like this. So it's really hard, unless you want to carry two different cases, which most people will not. I would strongly recommend that you buy regular glasses, as far as sunglasses, like this. It's a lot easier to use, a lot more practical. Now, if you don't wear glasses, by the grace of uh, not having to wear them, biologically, then I would recommend these. You can store them anywhere. These are so small and take up so little space. They're incredible and I really enjoy them. And just like the other sun sunglasses I have, their sunglasses fit a lot tighter on the face than regular normal glasses, which like I said, I really prefer that for sunglasses, especially if the wind's blowing outside. You can wear them at the beach. You can wear them, whatever. And this is my philosophy. I'm going to buy something. I don't want to put it in the closet. I want to use it. And I really enjoy these. Most people, they wear Ray-Bans, but I don't know how many compliments I've gotten on these. I love these glasses. They're really fun as far as the color goes. Once again, Archie Luxury turned me on to these glasses, and I can't say thank you enough. And y'all have a nice day.